Hey, so welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at the Friedman test. So the Friedman test is the non-parametric equivalent of the repeated measures or uh, within subjects ANOVA. So that just means that it doesn't have as many assumptions as that ANOVA does. For example, the data don't need to be normally distributed. So we'll usually use the Friedman test when we have measured something at three or more time points. Uh, so for this example, we're going to imagine that we have measured exam scores, let's imagine they're maths exam scores, and we've measured them in 10 people in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. So let's uh, take a look at SPSS and how we can set up the file. So if we first go to data view, uh, sorry, variable view, go to variable view first, and then we'll go to the name column, and then we'll use the top cell, and we'll just enter the name of the first time point into that cell. Then we'll do the name of the second time point into the cell below. And then we'll do the name of the third time point into the cell below that. Uh, once we've done that, we can use this measures column to specify that the dependent variable is a scale variable. So now we've done that, we can go to data view and we can see that morning, afternoon and evening have appeared at the top of these three columns. So now it's just a matter of copying and pasting this data from this Excel file into these columns. So there we go. And once we've done that, we are ready to run the Friedman test. So we can go to Analyze and then down to Non-Parametric Tests, then across to Legacy Dialogues, then down to K-Related Samples. And then all we're going to do is transfer these three uh, time points into the test variables box and then we're going to check that the Friedman box is ticked here and we'll go to a statistics and we'll just check this uh, quartiles box here and that will give us medians for those three different time points. So once we've done that we can go to continue uh, then to OK. OK so the SPSS has generated this output and we can see that um, if we look at this asymp sig values, that's the p-value, we can see that there was a significant effect of time points on the exam scores because this value here is clearly below 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 is the value that we usually use to determine whether something is significant or not. So there is a significant effect of time on exam scores. Uh, so we're going to want to report that result. Um, we're also going to want to report this uh, chi-square value. We will report this degrees of freedom value. And we will report the number of observations. So we had 10 participants and we measured their scores at three different time points. So in this case, we had 30 different observations in total. We're also going to report these median values here. So let's take a look at how we can do that in APS style. Uh, so we can start just by saying which test we did. So we did a Friedman test, and this test revealed a significant effect of time of day on exam scores. And then we've got this chi-squared symbol here. So chi-squared equals 16.70. And if we go back to the SPSS output, we can see that that number comes from here. We've just rounded that to two decimal places. Um, we've got a 2 here, so that represents the degrees of freedom. So that comes from this DF row here, and we've got, as we said before, 30, so that's the number of observations, n equals 30. We have three time points and we have 10 observations with each, within each one of those time points. And finally, we've got this p-value. So we said that p is less than 0 0.001, and that's because we have 0 0.000 here. So really, that value isn't zero, but we, can only see that value to three decimal places. So all we know is that the value is less than 0 0.001. Okay, so once we've reported uh, those statistics, we can report the median values. And we can just say a bit about the whether scores were higher or lower in the morning compared to the afternoon and the evening. So we've just said that the medians indicated that exam scores were highest in the evening. So we put median equals seven. So that comes from this descriptive statistics table and from this median 
uh, column within it. So we've got the evening score equals seven. And we said followed by the afternoon, median equals six. That comes from there. And then we've got morning equals four. And that comes from there. Uh, so that's all there is to the Friedman test, really. Um, if you have a significant result, like you do in this test, we could follow this up with a Wilcoxon test. So that would tell us, is there a significant difference between the morning and the afternoon, between the morning and the evening, and between the afternoon and the evening? So if you're interested in checking out how to do a Wilcoxon test, I'll put a link to that above. Um, if you have anything, question, any questions about this test, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you and thanks very much for watching.